are slower than a corpse. So we'll have to wait and see. But let's talk about Ronaldo. So the, the situation with Ronaldo is very much that he's not on the tour at the moment and that he would like to leave Manchester United. And he wants to leave Manchester United is the story that we've had all week. And this is the story that Manchester United would like to put out. But I spoke to a couple of people about this um, and effectively what, what intrigued me the most was this story that was coming out that there's people on the footballing side that would be pleased to see Ronaldo good go. They would be liberated. And I wanted to de dive deep into that because when I was speaking to someone yesterday, I said, well, I can understand why Harry Maguire would want Cristiano Ronaldo to go because he wants to keep the captaincy and he wants to be the leader and he wants to be listened to and maybe Ronaldo won't listen to him. So I can understand that. I can't really understand why Luke Shaw would want Ronaldo to go because on the pitch, what difference does it make? He's a left back, unless it's just because Harry's his mate. I can't understand why a McTominay or a Fred would want Ronaldo to go because they've got enough on their plate trying to be midfielders. So I was talking to this person about it and they said, look, from, from, a, from a playing side, the liberation is actually the attackers. It's your Sancho's, it's your Rashford's, it's your Bruno's. And look, Bruno Fernandes is in awe of Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, he absolutely loves Cristiano Ronaldo. But in the footballing sense, he becomes the star again of Manchester United if Ronaldo goes. Because if you think about United before Ronaldo, Bruno was the star player. If you look at the pictures, and you can check them out on our Instagram, at United Stand TV or at United Stand on Twitter. Obviously, Adam and Ryan are over on the tour. They've been to the stadium. They're taking pictures. I think there's a monsoon going on at the moment. So if you want all the latest clips and videos, make sure you check out our socials. But Bruno was the biggest, you know, he got the biggest crowd for the, for the people meeting them at the hotel. So Bruno effectively, in a footballing sense, would probably be liberated by Bruno go uh, by Ronaldo going Sancho Rashford. So that's where this is coming from. If you, I didn't understand this at all, but that's where that's coming from. This 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 story that people are putting out from the dressing room or wherever they're getting it about players being liberated by Ronaldo going. It's not necessarily the the toxicity in the dressing room, although that is a factor. It's actually that people like Bruno Sancho Rashford feel that they can play better without Ronaldo because they're more liberated um, that he's not the star of the team. So I don't know what your thoughts are on that. Hi, Mark. Do you think that there is any player in the world that could fill Ronaldo's shoes for Man United that would be affordable, says Taj? Not really. Um, we'll come back to that, though. So let's just talk about Ronaldo for sale because this was from the same conversation. I was told last Sunday that United are open to selling Ronaldo because they can remove his wages. They're not in the Champions League. They're not going to fight for the title. So as long as they say we don't, they, they selling him makes them money. I mean, selling the, selling him pays for the dividends for the Glazers in January. It's another ten million, isn't it? What they'll make in wages. Replacing Ronaldo when he's on four hundred and fifty grand a week or three four hundred grand a week with somebody like Brobby who will be on a hundred grand a week. You're saving three hundred grand a week. So the Glazers would like that. Commercially, losing Ronaldo is not a great thing. Um, I don't think it will get released and this is pure speculation this is not fact I don't know this but I was told this morning by somebody in the in the industry that United shirt sales yesterday are appalling absolutely appalling compared to what they would expect to be obviously you've got to factor in Ronaldo to that but you've also got to factor into the lack of signings they have sold shirts I think it's been received quite well you lot would know more than me um, I wouldn't be buying one of those shirts anyway I like the away kit, but I don't even think, I don't think even think I'd buy that. But the shirt sales are not where United would expect. Um, but they had apparently anticipated this was going to happen. They'd put it back a week, which is never a good idea because it shows to to the to the market that you're you're, you're concerned. Um, and you know, even using Ronaldo on the images yesterday, and there has been sales specific to Ronaldo because Ronaldo's got a huge fan base. Those shirt sales are not where they would hope to be. And that's a culmination of Ronaldo and transfers, etc. So commercially, selling Ronaldo is a big no. It's like banning Father Christmas from, 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 from Christmas. You know, Santa can't be on any bloody cards or wrapping paper or adverts. Like Ronaldo commercially to Manchester United is huge. Um, but there is a winning willingness to sell. And effectively, the way they will do this, and it's probably the way that we, we're starting to see already, United will paint Ronaldo as the villain. And then they will sell him. Oh, we don't want to sell him, but we really do. So that is what the situation is with Ronaldo at the moment. Um, in relation to who I, who I spoke to yesterday, who's pretty close to all this. They said, look, 
Of course, Ronaldo wants to go. He's not happy with the club. He's not happy with things that have been done. He's not happy with the ambition. But don't pretend United are crying into their breakfast cereal going, oh, he's going, he's going. They're looking at this more and more and going, well, if we sell Ronaldo, maybe Bruno and Sancho and Rashford get better because they're not in the shadow of Ronaldo. If we sell Ronaldo, we save four, five hundred grand a week in wages and everything else we have to pay him. If we sell Ronaldo, the standards in the dressing room drop significantly because the club accepts, and this, I've not even mentioned Ten Hag yet, but the club accepts, they cannot, This is this is the club accepts this, probably the same as you accept this, probably the same as the media accept this. The club accepts they cannot match Ronaldo's ambitions. Ronaldo wants to fight for the Premier League and the Champions League. They can't do that. And they know he's only here for another year. So they literally know they cannot match his ambitions next season. He wants to fight for the Premier League. He wants to fight for the Champions League. He feels he's earned that right from the career he's had. Whether you agree with that or not, that's what Ronaldo wants to do. Man United know they cannot fulfil those ambitions. What they need to do is put it out there that they tried. But we all know they haven't tried because look at the lack of signings. So I think the way this is heading with Ronaldo is that now you've just got to find a buyer. Um, and the club are open to doing that, um, which is why yesterday I was quite annoyed with them using him on, uh, on pictures to sell shirts because I think that's very unfair because I think certain fans will start to think there's a chance he's going to stay. I still hope he's going to stay, but if I'm honest, from the chat I had yesterday, I think the club are wide open to selling him and I think a lot of it's to do with financials as well. From Eric Ten Hag's point of view, this is very important, Eric Ten Hag was expecting to be using Cristiano Ronaldo. Um... He's obviously been in discussion with people at United this week. He hasn't spoken to Ronaldo. Ronaldo is um, not talking to anybody in relation to the footballing side at the moment because of he, he's not training because of family issues. But Eric Ten Hag has had to come to terms with the fact that Ronaldo probably won't be part of his team next year and he's got to build without that. Now, in relation to the captaincy, I don't think Ronaldo ever was going to be the captain. That's what I was told. I don't think he was. I know we want him to be, but I don't think he ever was. I don't know whether that was going to be a reason why Ronaldo got pissed off. The captaincy's prob. I don't know what's going to happen with the captaincy. I mean, it shouldn't be going to Harry Maguire simply because of him. He's, he's had his chance and he wasn't very good. Also, on top of that, he's the captain of United and he's still doing stupid things on social media, which we saw this week. So, you know, my, I'm, my, my fear with Harry Maguire is he'll score a late equaliser against Brentford and run around with his shirt off. You know, he, you just never know what he's going to do. He's, he's not captain material. But beyond him, I mean, I know it's a bit of a cliche. I'd probably give it to Dave, David De Gea because he's a safe pair of hands in a transitional year. But I don't think Ronaldo was ever going to get it. Um, the question really for all of us now is how long is this going to take and where is he going to go? We can talk about Ronaldo up for sale or Ronaldo wanting to go as much as we want. But Champions League, no club has bidded for Ronaldo or shown any interest. You haven't got a clue what you're talking about, really. I was trying, I was trying, I was trying to be nicer than that. You haven't got a bloody clue what you're on about. Um, and you clearly don't know what you're on about and you clearly don't understand football because I, I was just about to talk about that. Um, I find it absolutely hilarious that there are fans out there who, one, want to blame Ronaldo and, two, think that nobody's interested in Ronaldo. Like, he literally scored 18 goals in the worst United side we've had in years as a striker. What's the most important position in football? Where did you want to play when you were a kid playing in the park? Up front. It will always have the glamour. He's one of the better strikers in the world still. He's expensive. He's 37. But he's still one of the better strikers in the world. And also, if you do buy Cristiano Ronaldo, you do get all the hype, all the fans, all the shirt sales and everything. So... There are clubs interested in Ronaldo, absolutely 100% there are clubs interested in Ronaldo. It's just whether they are the right clubs for Ronaldo and whether they're the right clubs for Manchester United. And this is where...